Brohan, Broger, Brosef, Brodet, all other people of any other minority, my friends, welcome to a journey of our own self-discovery. This is a new journey. <laughs> Hi guys, hope you're all doing absolutely awesome, and I will shut up while the uh, while the beginning starts here, because to be quite honest, it is beautiful. Very rare you get to say that about a game. Beauty. Yeah, there's our opening sequence as such, and now we just have a, a a little tutorial on how to move about, and then our character stands up. She seems to be quite. I'm gonna call it a she because I just think it's a she. So yeah, this is a, a uh, which can be accessed in the start menu. So yeah, this is just like a little. Uh, I think a standalone only for PS3 journey. Uh, if you hadn't already figured that one out, it's. I'm doing it blind because I haven't actually played it at all yet. This is the first first bit that I've actually played and seen but it's got some really awesome reviews so I take it we go over there um, it's got some pretty sweet reviews online and it's only like 10 quid on the PSN store so I thought yoink thank you please so yeah it just it just seems it's almost fallout sort of desolate it's pretty cool and is the sun going down now it's just moving with the heels Wow, actually, ooh, it's quite eerie in a way. What do my buttons do? Oh, circle makes me shine. <laughs> if I hold it in for longer, oh, that's pretty cool. That's sort of like a Zelda Ocarina of Time sort of thing. That's pretty sweet, and we are nearing the top of this mountain. Ooh, and then there's an even bigger, brighter mountain over there. Journey. Huh. Wow. My words have been taken away from my mouth. Okay, so uh Oh another sort of cutscene thing, no? I'm back into the game now. So yeah, first impressions are like, wow. And I'm sorry guys, it doesn't have guns. I'll just say that now. There is no guns in this game, thank god, and my god it is refreshing to have a game where there isn't actually guns. So I take it that's our first checkpoint down there. Okay. Awesome, you actually slide. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Okay. Must concentrate on objectives. This kind of uh, looks a little bit like a graveyard. Um, yeah. It's all a bit eerie. I'll make sure the music is turned up so you guys can hear it. But so is this literally the world? So you can go wherever the hell you want. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sort of in love in, in love with the game already. I like it. Okay, there's weird floaty stuff up here, so. This must be some sort of cemetery, mustn't it? <laughs> the game itself is just so visually pleasing. I mean, everything's the sort of same uh, rusty colour, but for some reason that works tremendously well. And it just, wow. I'm kind of getting a little bit of shivers going on. Ooh. Oh, I just grew a scar. So... And now my 
NASCAR. Oh, hold X. Oh, awesome! So now we have. So what? Do those little scar pieces sort of allow us to jump? Yeah, that kind of looks like a meter, doesn't it? Like a gorge. So if I jump, that should deplete, right? Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So that's our objective, obviously. That's our main objective, at least. I suppose we take whatever the hell route we are. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's pretty cool. You just glide over the landscape quite gracefully. So, uh, there's not a lot of backstory. Should we head over there? Because there's like another little monument. There might be more of this scarf, if I want to call it. I just want to call it a scarf right now. Although there's lights down there. <laughs> I like this jumping mechanic. Wow, this game is really good. And it's rare I like... I, it's rare I like a game straight away, but... It's just got its own style, you know? That's pretty refreshing, not gonna lie. It's like drinking a can of Fanta on a very hot day. An ice cold can of Fanta. And you can just like, hey guys. It's kind of like Morse code, really. If you think about it. And none of my other buttons do anything yet. Ooh. This is well interesting. Uh, so if you hold X while you're falling, you glide a little bit, which is cool. Okay, so I guess we're just going to head straight down here and see what's going on. I love the way you slide down these hills for the sand dunes. So there hasn't actually been that much backstory just to it just said, Ooh, there's something shiny there. I want the shiny. Oh, sorry if I sound a little bit horsey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting over some sort of weird throat thing, disease. I don't know what it was. Kind of like a cold, I suppose. Hello, little. What do I do with you? Curious. Maybe that's something that we have to get later on, I don't know. Okay, I've got first one. Let's, let's head on to this little platform here and see what this is all about. Okay, so now we have jumpy power. So I take it we head towards the middle there. <laughs> oh, the jumping mechanic is really nice. Okay. So we're kind of going up this Mahusif Tower monument. Ooh, what is this? Old circle. Do I get more scarf? <laughs> oh, how awesome is that? Ooh. Okay, so the flight the flight is quite difficult to control. Now I've got an even longer scarf. Okay, so the game mechanic itself is actually starting to uh, come along quite the wow, we can fly for days. We're basically Concord now. <laughs> That's like our level of flight, it's Concord. So I wanted I want to do that again because that was just too much fun. And then they will go up to us and fly. <laughs> wow guys, get this game. I'm not even kidding. Just get it.
trees and those things in the sky are birds. And those are us. Those are definitely our character. And then there's some weird hieroglyph sort of device growing into a cigar. Okay, so do these people like bound for the cigar? It's only, I think, I read three hours, roughly, of playtime, so this, that means this is going to be quite a short series. However, you know, I don't, I don't really think that matters. Oh, uh, we're turning to uh, wheat again. I'll probably keep these episodes about 20 minutes apiece or something like that. You'll get a good range of stuff when I don't know. Oh, excuse me, I need help out, unfortunately. It'd be cool if this game was in 3D as well. I know obviously I can't record and then show you guys 3D, but that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so I guess that's our destination. Well, obviously the mountain is our main destination, but the uh, beam of light over there is the other destination. I can see other little flecks of light all over the place though. So are they like secondary objectives if we wish to go for them? Because I don't think we can make this. No, we definitely can't make this. You never get this, you never get this. So if I do the weird... They do! Ooh, so that works with all of them. And then you can fly while midway through that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now this sand kind of looks like it'll suck me in. Is that like quick sand? Quick sand? Oh, yes it is, something happened anyway. What was going on there? Kind of looked like it was sucking me in from there. Anyway, let's see what this is. Do I go down? I don't know. I'd use this. So now our scarf is extremely long. Uh, so. Should we head guys? I think over here maybe. If we backtrack and go, let's try and get to that weird thing that's rising up out of the ground over there. Um, give me my power. And then we go to the fly. And then fly. Wow, we can seriously fly now. Flight level rocket. <laughs> Oh, hello. Who's this? Is this the online play thing? Because I thought we were kind of in this alone. Should I maybe turn this off or should I... Because I don't know if I want some. Well, I don't know, I suppose we can see, see how it goes. Because I read somewhere that the, I think it was GameSpot, that other people can just join you if they want to. Or, I don't know, is the world just constantly full of other if the world is full of other people that is so cool although he's made a bridge lol what what is going on here so is he a computer player or is he actual real life he can't make that though excuse me sniffly nose because I can see more uh, light sources there and that means more power. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh, that's just terrible. Are we going to be able to get up there though? That's the question. Wow, the sand, the movement of the sand looks so realistic. Floatiness. What is he doing? He's just. Ooh. Okay. 
So if we hold circle in on those big flagpole things. <laughs> How awesome does that look? I feel like I've been given help I didn't ask for here. Okay. I think what, although I like the idea of the online concept, I don't really want any help. If that, that sounds a bit selfish, but I don't mean it like that. So how do I go about turning this off? I can't turn it off. Okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> we, shall, uh, we shall keep going. That's pretty cool, we literally just glide up it. So does that destroy it afterwards? Oh no, that's dangerous. Danger tower, danger tower. Well it doesn't destroy it, it stays there. Oh, wow, the music just got awesome. And I see more light down there, so I think we may have to take a detour. Because it can only make sense to get our scarf as long as possible. Nothing worse than a short scarf, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow, we can fly. See, I like the idea of a multiplayer concept, but I don't know whether it was me that just did all that stuff or whether it was him. So I'm just a bit worried. Because I want us to experience it ourselves, because it's a blind. It's a blind LP, and other people doing it for me would ruin the whole point of it. Fly little... I don't even know what you'd call him, like a messiah or something? No, that doesn't make much sense, but... Ooh, a wind catcher. Ooh, a wind catcher sounds good. So yeah, guys, I think that would do for the first episode of Journey. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed the first opening 20 or so minutes of it. It's just, I can go anywhere I want in this world. <laughs> Even though it says three hours game time, I think there's a lot more than that if you explore everything. 
so yeah i hope you're having a fantastic day i'm gonna go take some more cough medicine because to be quite honest i don't think i should have tried record my throat is now killing me again so i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you on the next one bye bye for now guys